Welcome to Split the Tenders News on at six. I'm Bruce and I'm here with uh wait, wait what's your name now? My name's Lexi. Oh yeah, all right. I'm I'm here with uh Lexi or whatever and we have an exciting story to tell you about. Take it away, uh whatever your name is. It's a story about these three very interesting couples. They sure are interesting and complicated at that. Hermia loves last name, last name loves Hermia, but Demetrius also loves Hermia. But Hermia does love Demetrius, and Helena loves Demetrius, but Demetrius doesn't love Helena, but Igis, that's Hermia's dad, likes Demetrius, not Lysar. So Hermia either has to marry Demetrius, be a nun, or die. Did you catch that? Because I sure didn't. I guess let's move on to John, with an H, who has the weather. Thanks, Lexi. There was definitely some love in the air last night. I've been watching the radar, and it was getting quite hot up in Athens. The weather was heating up last night, and some clouds full of passion rolled through later that evening. Sounds magical to me. How did it affect people in the area? There were multiple reports of young couples sneaking off into the woods last night, Bruce. They may have been affected by the magic in the air. These youngins might have to start being more careful. Sounds like some risky business was happening in those woods. Is the weather going to get any better in the next few days? It's looking like things may clear up in the early hours of the morning. The full moon last night was quite beautiful, though. It was shining all through the night and will continue to shine for the next couple of days. Hopefully those reports aren't true. But if they are, then at least those hooligans would have had a light to navigate by. I sure hope so. Getting lost in the woods means a night with the fairies, which does not sound fun. Thanks for that wonderful weather report. Our story tonight is on the tale of three couples. Apparently they've had a little adventure in the woods. Something about an ass in love with a fairy, fake love and love potions. We sure do. We have information from an anonymous source who has all the details. We'll head over to Sportsman Cam, who has the deets on this interesting story. Hello friends, my name is Cam, Sportsman Cam. Tonight we will be seeing highlights of the action all across Athens. First off, we see Lysander hitting a home run with his lady friend Hermia in the woods. As you can see, they were sprinting through the woods with conviction, trying to get away. Last night, we also saw our lady Helena airball her chance with Demetrius early on. But luckily, our fairy bro Puck showed up in that clutch with that magical love potion and managed to rebound her opportunity with him. And their relationship became a slam dunk. Whew, thanks for the recap, Sportsman Cam. Now we have our roaming reporter Jays out roaming the area for some bystanders of some of the recent happenings in the woods. Take it away, Jays. Hi, roaming reporter Jays here. Just roaming reporting on this scene. I'm here with Musty Webb, who was here when all this went down. So, Musty Webb, what happened here tonight? There has been some funky shenanigans happening throughout these woods. I don't feel comfortable talking about it here. Do you feel more comfortable doing it deeper into the woods? <laughs> the woods sound like a better place. <laughs> Alright, continue with your story. We'll all start off these two hoodlums, Lysander and Hermia, trying to get hitched within these woods. Well, we've got some inside information about someone getting turned into an ass. Is that true? Yeah, then my dude Bottom literally got Titania's biz. Titania was so shook on that love potion that she forgot about Oberon. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I know, dude. What was that? <laughs> Alrighty, then I think we're just gonna move on now. Lexi's just acquired the fishing details on the story. I sure did, Bruce. It all turned into a happy ending, believe it or not. After making it through the treacherous night, the couples ended up with a pleasant surprise. Theseus, the king ruler, ends up overruling Aegeus, and all three couples wound up marrying on the same day, leaving them all living happily ever after. We'll catch you tomorrow night with a story on the failure of a play put on by Peter Kintz and his crew of scallywag laborers. Stay tuned as later tonight we have an exclusive interview with the one and only Robin Goodfellow. I'm Bruce. And I'm Lexi. Good night, Athens. Yeah, then my boot, my dude at the bottom. I hate myself, this is so hard. Alexi or whatever. 
and we have an exciting sort of exciting <laughs> exciting exciting. day clear up in the early hours of the morning. The full moon was lap. Uh, I think it's whatever your name is. It's about, it's, mm, it's our Your fairy bro, Pac, showed up in the club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there has been, okay, wait, 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 wait. Ah. We were up in the early hours of the morning. The full moon, the ah. play played on by Peter Kins and a screw of scally leg. With the oh, scally leg. I can't do this. Yeah, no, sure do, good. Bruce. Oh crap! You gotta restart. I thought. Stop to throwing move. sticks at me. Yeah. <laughs> just I was like, sorry, you. No. Camden, you don't get to be in it. <laughs> Stop. Hi.